So today is 15th August. We are going to celebrate 75th Independence Day. So at the beginning I want to convey each and everybody present here Happy Independence Day. So on this occasion I have put a contest actually. So I would ask everybody to tell something about 15th August. That is, uh, I would request to deliver a short speech on this account. Everybody knows that on 15th August in the year 1947, through so many bloodshed of bloodshed and sacrifice of our freedom fighters, we achieved freedom from the British bondage. So I am not going to tell anything more than that. Only I want to tell one quote of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. B. R. Ambedkar told that if a person is not free in mind, he is not actually free. So, if we go through this quote, we have come to know that even if we are in free India and nobody has kept us in prison, but if we are not free in mind, then there is no use of freedom. So nowadays, if we think that the common people are not in free in mind because they are being deprived in so many things, deprived from their basic rights actually. The person who are qualified, they are not getting job. Whereas the person who are not qualified in exchange of money, they are getting job. So such thing is happening nowadays. It's, it's being happened and everybody knows about that. So, freedom does not mean willfulness. Everybody, we are, we India, we are now very lucky that we are going to celebrate F-75 and it is the gift of the great freedom fighter who sacrificed them and who were unable to take the taste of free, free India or, or freedom. So we should maintain the freedom. So we, are, we, we know that to maintain the, to achieve freedom is easier. But it is not so easy to maintain it, to preserve it. Anyway, I am not going to tell you more. You will tell, I will hear. So let's start our competition. Now I would request Rajur Siddhas, reading in class 10, to deliver a short speech on the occasion of Independence Day. Rajur please start. Good morning to all, my respected teacher and my dear friends. Today is Independence Day and uh, so I am going to deliver a speech about Independence Day. At first, I would like to wish all of you Happy Independence Day. On 15th August 1947, India got freedom from British rule. Since then, every year we celebrate this day on 15th August. This is the day for all of us. We celebrate this is the day with joy and honor our nation. The great freedom fighters like Mahatma Gandhi, Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose, Bhagat Singh and others fought for the independence of India. This is the greatest festival of India. We hoist our national flag on this day. We sing our national anthem. Let us all work together and make our country the best country in the world. We should feel proud to be an Indian. We should also respect, we should also give respect to the freedom fighters who give us independence. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sid. Now, Soyli Mollik, a student of BA second year, 
is going to deliver a short speech on the occasion of 75th Independence Day. So, Ali, please start. Uh, good morning, everyone, respected teachers, and uh, all of my dear friends. Today is 15th August. So, we all gathered here to celebrate 75th Independence Day. Uh, in this day, we got independence. We got it uh, after a long struggle. So, uh, many freedom fighters sacrificed their life for this. Uh, so, we... Uh, all uh, know that uh, it is an important day in the history of our India. We feel uh, very proud to be an Indian. Uh, Jai Hind, that's all. Now I would request Srijita Das, reading in class 9, to deliver a short speech on this occasion. Srijita, start. Hi, everyone. On 15 August 1947, our India got independence and the sacrifices of the great freedom fighters, the unity of Indians brought freedom for us. We hoist our national flag in this day. Before this, uh, our, uh, in our India, British ruled uh, for 200 years and then we got our freedom on 1947. Then, uh, then from uh, the sacrifice, then we should respect uh, our freedom fighters, our great motherland and uh, our great national flag. Not only for this day, we should respect our motherland for every single day, uh, for every single day. And at last I wish you a happy independence day. Okay, thank you. Take your seat. Now I would request Suchorita Pal reading in class 8 to deliver a short speech on 75th Independence Day. Suchorita, start. So, good morning everyone. At first I want to, uh, I want to tell, uh, tell all of you that happy Independence Day. So, today is our 75th Independence Day and I, I just want to convey my uh, regrets and love to all of you. Now, um, what is Independence Day? Is um, it, uh, um, in, what is Independence Day? Um, everyone thinks that Independence Day is just for hosting flags and uh, distributing uh, sweets, but it is uh, not true. It is, uh, it was hard to get, in, uh, it was hard to get independence and uh, through the many uh, struggle and um, self uh, self sacrifice. We got that Independence Day, so uh, we got that independent uh, freedom. So um, we just uh, uh, made, uh, maintain our independence, uh, maintain our freedom, and and just respect the day. Uh, here I end my speech. Uh, if I do any mistakes, uh, mistakes just forgive me for that. Um, that's all. Okay, thank you. Take your seat. Amrita Mukherjee, reading in class 9, is going to deliver a short speech on the occasion of 75th Independence Day. Amrita, please start. Hello everyone. At first, I want to wish all of you a very happy Independence Day. Today is 15th August, the Independence Day of uh, India. It is a very special day for us because it is the 75th Independence Day of India. Almost after 200 years, in 1947, on 15th August, we got the freedom from the British bondage. We, in this day, we hoist the national flag in the school and colleges. The student give speeches and. Uh, we, uh, we sing the national anthem etc. It is a very special day for us. But it also remind us the sacrifices of the freedom fighters who fought for the freedom movement uh, for the India and gave their life easily. 
लाइक भगत सिंह खुदीराम बोस एट्सेट्रा खुदीराम बोस गेव हिज लाइफ एट द एज ऑफ एटीन दे आर द रियल हीरोज ऑफ आवर लाइफ सो वी शुड रिमेंबर देम ऑल ऑफ द ईयर ऑल ऑफ द ईयर ऑल ऑफ द सिंगल डे बट वी ओनली रिमाइंड देम ऑन दिस डेज लाइक फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स जनवरी they are the real proud of our um, mother india so we should always respect them and uh, give them the uh, give them the regard for, for giving us the freedom so that's all uh, i am wishing the uh, independence day to all of you okay thank you now srijita ghosh reading in class 10 Going to deliver a short speech on the occasion of 75th Independence Day. See the please start. Hello everyone, all of my respected elders and my uh, youngers, uh, wishing you all a very happy Independence Day. And today we all gathered here to celebrate our Independence Day. Yes, this is the day. This is the day of proud of India and uh, the. Uh, the joyful day of india and this is also a national holiday for india so so what is independence uh, independence is freedom it is to occupy our own rights on our lands uh, to enjoy our freedoms it is uh, one should not always harm others we should uh, enjoy our freedom not by harming others by uh, or uh, but by helping others so yes today is the day today is the 15th august the proud day of india the proud for every indian and every rich or poor indians the independence day of india our country many years ago uh, we got back our uh, freedom on 15th august 1947 after 200 years of uh, subsequent of after 200 years of bond british bondage we uh, we uh, had uh, had been under bond, uh, british bondage for so many years and uh, almost 200 years many freedom fighters fought with their lives uh, fought without caring about their lives and sacrificed their lives for, to get back the freedom and today we are here sleeping peacefully and uh, bhagat singh khudiram bosh master the shurjo shen vinay badol dinesh matongini hatra and many like them such a, such as called the uh, fearless freedom fighters sacrifice their lives without thinking twice to get back their our uh, this freedom and also like netaji or gandhi ji so called the uh, so called the fearless leaders uh, uh, took many hard uh, hard took many hard works and uh, fought fearlessly against the british and to, uh, today uh, but if we, it is observed carefully we can see that history only honors all the uh, uh, famous leaders or the directors but uh, which can be count in um, hand but there, behind that there are some lots of common people workers and peasants party uh, who uh, who who also gave their life and sacrificed their life uh, to uh, get uh, to, to let us enjoy the freedom and to uh, let india be freedom from the uh, british rules so uh, today we don't think about them only we think about those famous uh, leaders or directors but we should also uh, we should also be grateful towards those workers uh, so as called uh, common people so uh, today is 15th uh, august and uh, this day is celebrated uh, here by hoisting flag and singing many patriotic songs or uh, performing many patriotic events the main performance of this day is held at uh, red fort of delhi uh, the uh, our prime minister hoists the uh, national flag and then we start sing our national anthem to uh, to convey our gratefulness and love and respect to those fearless freedom fighter for who today we are here so uh, i will end my speech here um, wishing all of you a happy independence day patacharya she has completed high secondary this year and going to be admitted in the college now she is reading here 
इन स्पोकन इंग्लिश बैच जूनियर स्पोकन इंग्लिश बैच तो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट जगोशनी टू गिव ए शॉर्ट स्पीच ऑन द ऑकेशन ऑफ सेवेंटी फिफ्थ इंडिपेंडेंस डे टूडे जगोशनी प्लीज स्टार्ट हेलो एवरी वन आई एम विशिंग यू ऑल वेरी हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे वी ऑल नो दैट वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग दिस ईयर द सेवेंटी फिफ्थ इंडिपेंडेंस डे दिस डे वी ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर द एफोर्ट्स द स्ट्रगल ऑफ फ्रीडम फाइटर्स हु फॉर्ट सो मच टू गेट अस द फ्रीडम फ्रॉम द ब्रिटिश बट द थिंग इज नाउ इन दिस जेनरेशन द इंडिपेंडेंस डे इज ऑनली बिटवीन द सोशल मीडिया पीपल आर पोस्टिंग बट नो वन इज दैट मच शोइंग द रेफर्ट्स टू सेलिब्रेट दिस डे एंड दिस ईयर वी आर ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेटिंग द इंडिपेंडेंस डे विद अ कैंपेन वेर यू हैव टू ब्रिंग अ फ्लैग इन यूर होम एंड यू हैव टू पोस्ट अ सेल्फी विद इट दैट इज being celebrated by many people but this day we all should know that we not only should remember our freedom fighters but also try to we should uh, respect to those armies who are always giving or sacrificing their life to save us and i am very much thankful to them and again i am wishing all of you a very happy independence reading in here reading in senior spoken english batch she has already completed his msc examination this year so may please give a short speech about independence day start wish you a very happy independence day to all of you i am shobhi khara i am privileged to get this opportunity to say something on independence day 15th august is an auspicious day for all indians and today we are celebrating 75 years of independence of our country india and uh, we should honor those freedom fighters who uh, did struggle for our country to free uh, free india and <clears throat> here i want to mention one quote of dr b r ambedkar that he told that the Uh, freedom of mind is the real freedom and a person whose mind is not free although he may not in may not be in chains is a slave not a free man so here we can relate this quote with our society that many of us in our society are not free from our mind and when any new things happen we can't tolerate that and we just are ready to spoil them and if one is progressive in their life and the people are not ready to accept those people and they just want to spoil those career so i want to mention another quote that was said by b r ambedkar that he told that <clears throat> uh, it is not enough to just to have a have a, a political independent india what is also needed is that the all indian citizens have the equal right of political educational religious and economical rights so that the every indian citizens will have the equal opportunity to develop so here uh, there are so many people in our village that uh, the youths cannot get the proper food so they are under poverty they struggle for malnutrition and they cannot get the proper education also but they are real talented in our country we all can see that there are so many talented youths but they are not getting their jobs in their field of interest and uh, they uh, are they are then losing their uh, their uh, <coughs> brain and uh, then they uh, start to think that uh, what is the ultimate need of this huge degree and this huge achievement so uh, in our country nowadays many of the boys and girls they leave the school and uh, that's why the number of child labor is also increasing and by the exchange of money many non qualified and the person who are not eligible in that particular field are getting the job so it, it should not be happen and uh, that's why in our country we are losing uh, the respect of our country 
And uh, here I have to mention uh, another thing which was told by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. We told that I will work for that India where the poorest of the poor people will believe that this nation belongs to them and they have their role in its construction. So I personally also believe that and I, I think many of the people in our country also believe in this and uh, the freedom fighters and many great persons along with uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam uh, also believe that uh, India should be that in that position where there will be no highest and lowest, lowest, uh, lower class people and uh, all will be economically same and uh, they will live in relationship of friendship and harmony. And another thing I have to mention that women empowerment. And nowadays many people are talking about women empowerment and uh, they are uh, talking many things in their lecture in any program. But I don't think that women are that much positioned for independence. Because uh, in our country there are so many people who think that the women are born to maintain their family, their children, their husband, their family members and just to cook for them. And many of them think that what is the need for women's learning? Because ultimately they will get married and uh, this is a, the complete wastage of money for their learning. So I don't believe that and nowadays uh, many people uh, talking about that uh, the women and the men are same but in the practical field they are not working accordingly. So uh, Swami Vivekananda told in this field that the idea of perfect womanhood is the perfect independence. So he was a great person and he also thought that if the women are not free, the India will not be able to free and there will be no development of that country. And uh, Raja Ramohan Rai and many all, uh, other great person and freedom fighters also believed in that. So uh, <clears throat> I think the uh, youth should come forward irrespective of any political parties and uh, they should uh, <clears throat> work accordingly and uh, then our India will be uh, in great position and the youths are the backbone of our country. And APJ Abdul Kalam also told that the uh, main, uh, the strength of our country is the youth. So uh, here <coughs> I have to mention another thing which was uh, told by uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, not by APJ Abdul Kalam but it was told by a Tamil poet uh, about uh, 3000 years back but it was translated by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam that when uh, there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. And when there is harmony in the home, there is order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is happiness in the world. So I believe uh, these things also and uh, again wish you all the have very happy Independence Day to all and thank you so much. Well done. Thank you so much. Take your seat.